Hi, it's Mike. How are you today? In today's video, we're going to talk about the Phoenix condo market. You can also check out our other videos on the Scottsdale condo market. But in general, the condo market in Phoenix right now is just like the rest of the valley. We're running with extremely low inventory. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what's available, what the price ranges are, and we'll have a link to all this in the description box down below the video. So if you want to check out what's currently on the market, you can. All of our information is down there, our contact details if you have any questions. So let's get into it and check out today's condo market in Phoenix. So I'm going to share my screen here. I just want to show you what's currently on the market in inventory, what's under contract and pending, and what's coming soon to the Phoenix market. We'll take a look at some more market stats and see what we have. So let's get into it. So I put together a search here. And right now, currently in Phoenix, we have 46 properties that are currently on the market for sale. And when you're looking in our MLS, they actually call the condos uh, apartment style flat. And we're just looking at throughout the entire Phoenix area. We don't want any restrictions. And as you can see, they're pretty much spread out in Phoenix with a few more or a bigger cluster down in the central Phoenix area. So right now, our current price range is from 139,000 up to 2.175 million. So that's a pretty wide range. If I scroll down, you can kind of see we go down in the 500s, the 400s, down into the 300s, the 200s, and then down as low as 139. So for 139, you're getting a two bedroom, one bath, 916 square feet built in 1980 show you where it's at on the map so it's just to the west side of downtown phoenix west of the i-17 now the one thing you got to keep in mind when we're looking at these condos too is remember you have an hoa so check out the hoa fees check out the hoa features and find out what's included and if you're considering trying to do Airbnb with this property, check with the HOA because many of the HOAs are now restricting Airbnb rentals. Most of them are looking for a minimum of one month and possibly three months or six months for rentals, some even maybe one year. The other thing you need to look into right away is the pet policies. If you have some type of a pet, you need to make sure that you're able to bring that into the community. As far as parking, you wanna make sure you check on the parking. Most even two bedrooms only have one parking space. So wherever you buy, you wanna make sure you have extra space. The guest parking oftentimes is full right now, especially if people have roommates or two people are occupying the property and they both have cars. So you may have to park on the streets. Now you can also look at the possibility of finding a townhome or a patio home there's not as many of them, but many of them do have cover parking other than just a carport. And many of the smaller, less expensive properties in Phoenix will have covered carports. And then if you go into the more expensive units, you're sometimes on a high rise, you're gonna have underground parking. So again, let's take a look at the photos on this one. So you can see at the laundry situation too, you know, there are units that may not have laundry inside the unit. So you'd have to check that out. Most of them will, but not all. There's quite a few in Scottsdale, as a matter of fact, that don't. So you're gonna have eight foot ceilings in most of them. Some have been updated, some haven't. 
the one thing you have to keep in mind in some of the older condos is some of the HOAs have restrictions when you do remodels on what you can put in for flooring. Because if you're on a second floor, some places don't allow hard surfaces. You can see on this unit, you really don't have much of a patio at all, but it is ground level. Now this one was listed as a condo and I'm not sure it doesn't, it almost looks like it's a, uh, you know, it's a single family, but it just happens to possibly be a single level unit. And then on the higher end, you get into something like this. It's a three bedroom, three bath, 3,300 square foot, built in 2002. It's located uh, right down in Phoenix, a little bit further to the north. It's at the uh, Esplanade. You can see right here, it's closer, a little bit closer to Scottsdale. And when you get into these more expensive units, you know, again, you always want to check the HOA fees. The total monthly fees for this unit are $2,935. So that's your basically your HOA fee for this particular property. Now, again, there's going to be a number of reasons why the HOA is so high. They may have valet parking where they park your car for you. You have 24 hour concierge. There's all a number of different things and amenities you have to look into when you're looking at these condos. So now let's go and just check what's currently um, under contract. So we have 46 properties active for sale. And let's go ahead and look at what's under contract. So we have 200 properties currently under contract. So what does that mean? Well, if the average closing again is within 30 days of going under contract, these 200 homes will be gone from the market. There's a chance a few of them could fall through, but we only have 46 on the market. So the inventory is uh, depreciating going down and therefore we're going to have prices continuing to rise hopefully we'll get another 50 to 100 that'll come onto the market in the next 30 days and there'll be more of uh, inventory available so you can see why uh, the inventory is going up in price just because of supply and demand now another feature that i can search for for you that is not available on Zillow or any of the other websites is coming soon listings. So these are off market properties that are probably coming to the market in the next one to 10 days. You can see where they're scattered about. If you're really serious about getting a property, you definitely would have to get on the list for these coming soon properties so that you can go look at them as soon as they're available. And many times they will go under contract while they're uh, incoming soon. So the lowest price unit is 155,000 and we go up as high as 665. So if we go into the uh, market index for condos, again, it's extremely strong seller's market. Last month, the index action was score of 88, where again, a 30 is a balanced market between buyers and sellers. Right now we're at 88. I mean, it's extremely almost off the charts, a uh, strong seller's market. The average median list price right now in Phoenix is 380,000. You can see that that's slightly gone up um, since February and the median price of new listings means meaning the listings that have recently come on what that tells you is there's some of the less expensive properties have currently come to market um, which you know those are the units that also sell much faster your average price per square foot you can see it's slowly going up average days on market is 39 and again that's because you have the more expensive units and the less expensive units and that's the average that way of the newer units coming on the market because they are of the lower price range they're selling quicker if it comes on the market and it's under probably 350,000 it'll probably be sold within less than a week maybe even one or two days price decreases there's 16 percent uh, price increases is at 6%. That means 6% of the people had, had uh, raised their pricing. 
Relisted is 7% and that's basically properties that have gone off the market for one reason or another. Most of the time that's because of the winter season where people didn't want to put their home on the market over the holidays. Inventory, you can see this when this chart was made, it was showing 154 properties. And now we know we're down to, you know, in the 40s. Median rent was 1600, again, strong seller's market. In this chart, you can see the, the solid blue line, the 90 day moving average. Right now, the seven day moving average, which is the check line, is pretty much in line with the 90 day moving average. Of the market segments on the lower end, uh, average square footage is always smaller. Um, you know, the units themselves are smaller. You have two bedrooms, one bath. The bigger units have three to four bedrooms. Uh, def depends on the year that it was built, the amenities, you know, again, a number of things that make the differences in the median prices. Um, you know, you can see again on the less expensive units under 315,000 on this chart, it shows seven days on market as the average. And again, if it's really nice and remodeled or something or a great location with a view possibly, it's gonna go on the market probably within 24 to 48 hours. If you wanna search out these condos, you can go to our website. It's www.scottsdaleArizonaRealEstate or you can also put in www.askmike.homes it'll take you to the same place. You can go into uh, one of our detailed searches here, popular detailed searches right here, you know, where we have some things broken down. But we can also just go in and create our own advanced search for a condo. You could also try townhomes to see if there's anything available in your area. And you can go into Phoenix, again, any other city that you're in. And then you have a lot of options for our detailed search here. You can put in square footages, bedrooms, bathrooms. Uh, you can put in garage spaces, stories, pool. Most of the units are gonna have a pool, community pool. You can go into community features and pick out in there, you know, if you want something that was gated. Um, another thing to look into is if it's over three stories, it'll have an elevator. So if you can't walk up and down stairs, you may want to find one that's on a, a single level, which some of them are. And then of course you just hit search. And then once you go in, you can sort them by highest price, lowest price, um, you, can, you know, a number of different ways. And if you click on the individual property, it'll show you the photos. It'll give you detailed information, including some of the HOA information. It'll give you, if it's available, a walkability score, a transit score, and a biking score. It'll also show you market trends, market temperature, average days on market in that zip code, number of listings in the zip code, household information, other data. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on the Phoenix condo market. Everybody knows the single family home market's been going crazy and they're wondering about the condos. And as we can see on this uh, video, that the condo market is extremely strong too with low inventory. We'll see what happens this summer when a lot of people are out of town, meaning the snowbirds and winter visitors are gonna be gone. We'll see if that inventory goes up and the buyer demand goes down because winter time in Phoenix is uh, much po more popular with uh, spring training baseball in town and a lot of events, plus the great weather. So I hope this helps a little. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every week when we release new videos. We appreciate you watching. Watch some of our other videos on the Scottsdale condo market update and some HOA videos that we have done. Thanks again.